What's going on everybody? Doing a quick video with some terrible gameplay of R-Type Delta. I don't know if you guys subscribe to uh, the Shmup Junkie, but uh, he puts out great content. He's been on for like a few years and uh, I think he kind of came on when I wasn't looking because um, great channel, did a great video on the R-Type series. And um, just watching it, it was kind of like going going back in time, um, more or less to like the first time I got a master system, which I was always looking for a master system. Um, it was a little bit before my time. Um, I had a Nintendo growing up and I didn't know anybody with a master system. And I, even later on, um, you know, friends of mine, even a little bit older, like hardly anyone ever heard of it uh, from where, I, where I'm from. Um, but there's one, one local uh, video game store that, um, you know, is a real, real shyster. And the guy really just ripped off the local kids buying their games super cheap and selling them for like 60 bucks. He was a, and believe it or not, still in business. <laughs> Somehow, I think it's a front. Anyways, uh, I asked him, like, hey, you know, I remember being like, I don't know, 14 years old, asking him if he had a master system. And mind you, like, this is way past the master system was ever relevant. And he's like, oh, yeah, every once in a while they come up. I'll, I'll find one for you. I'll find one for you. Never did. Uh, finally bought a master system somewhere in my travels, like in New Hampshire, and I got a couple of games with it. I think the game I got was R-Type, and um, um, not Afterburner, um, I think it was like Outrun, or something like that. Anyways, one of the, um, you know, one of the arcade hits, and uh, I played R-Type so much. I mean, and this is this is early 2000s. I probably didn't pick up a Master System until. Um, so, way late, but uh, it was always on my kind of bucket list to get that system because I was such a diehard Sega fan uh, when the Genesis came around. And I went, you know, as you know, Genesis, Saturn, Dreamcast. I rode that ship to the end, right? Um, but I always wanted to try out the Master System. And um, I did, uh, I did have a power base converter, which I, I still have somewhere. And um, I don't think I ever had a game for it. Oh, you know what? Okay, I take it back. So I bought the Master System in New Hampshire later on, but I had the power base converter, but I think the only games I have for it was Shinobi 1, cart only, which I didn't really, think was that great but I had a master system but I wanted like the the system you know the master system one so I think it's one of the coolest looking systems there is actually um, anyway so watch much long story short shmup junkie did a great video on the R-Type series and I did not have R-Type Delta and watching that video convinced me that like I need to play this game and I don't know if it's coming through um, to you guys, but this is a stunningly pretty early polygon game. Like, it, you know, I know it's early polygons and I, I shouldn't have even mentioned it because like, look at it. It's so off the charts, creative, pretty. Uh, and for what it is, like it's, it's like best in class. Um, anyways. Uh, I'm absolutely awful at it. I've I've literally run this game uh, twice. Done done like you know turned it on you know twice before uh, talking to you right now. So I'm I'm, I'm terrible. And um, and our type's kind of one of those games where like you know repetition through you know mastery through repetition. Um, but uh, another thing I I just kind of mentioned too is that uh, playing this on my Japanese PS2 with a uh, old school Sans DualShock 
PlayStation controller in uh, a nice red that more or less matches my my red cinnamon colored uh, Japanese 9000 SPH PS2 from Japan so I don't know if anybody else is like that but if I'm taking the time to sit down put a game in my system have it all set up uh, I gotta have a nice controller uh, I know I, I made a video earlier on Nintendo controllers and you know what is best and um, you know more or less I want like a period correct nice controller whenever I play and if it's a cool color um, you know fantastic it's really too bad the Sega Saturn didn't have more um, more color choice uh, aside from like see-through black gray and white um, it would have been nice if they had like a nice hot you know all like I don't know blood red or, or uh, you know something cool like that but I mean can't go wrong with just black so um, but yeah so I, I actually did pick up a couple of games I picked up um, Golden Axe 2 for the Japanese Mega Drive um, I had Golden Axe 1 and 3 um, and I picked up 3 recently um, for the Japanese Mega Drive Golden Axe 2 I think has like kind of the weakest cover art of those three um, a lot of times the Japanese copy had like the su superior art sometimes not um, what else did I get oh I got I, so I got this I got this for the Japanese uh, PS2 I had to get the best version um, I don't know you know obviously didn't didn't have to but I kind of like the the red and I picked up a copy of G Darius and here's my Golden Axe 2 and um, something that's kinda tucked away that I kinda took out to play this game is the Fantasy Star collection that um, M2 did for the PS2, PlayStation 2 that has like the easy the easy mode or the very easy mode and it will output in 240p and um, you know they they did a good job with the uh, the sound and everything with that port and um, playing that kind of I thought I might try like Fantasy Star three but I don't think I I don't think I will I mean realistically uh, but Fantasy Star four I would like to play kind of when I feel like uh, I got some extra extra time and patience. But, um, you know, I, I mentioned Shmup Junkie earlier, but uh, another guy that's doing great work on YouTube and um, really good player uh, is uh, The Electric Underground. And um, these both kind of new guys are relatively new. And um, they're already doing great. I wish them all the success because, uh, you know, they're doing great work. But, um, He's got some great videos on just getting into sh getting into shooting games, getting into shmups, um, how to set up stuff like uh, emulation properly. Um, his video on on um, shmup arch, which is something that like he put together, or just kind of his retro arch build, I guess. Um, I mean. Talk about something that saved me so much aggravation. Like, I, I just never would have done it, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I really I really did not have um, a good emulation setup for arcade games. And, you know, I've, I've got, I've got like, you know, pretty fancy PCBs and, um, you know, not ashamed to say, like, wasn't wasn't too great at any of them. Even if I played them like over and over and over again, um, you know, I, I got a couple of clears, but like easy ones, you know, like like Mushi Original and so. I mean, you know, nothing nothing to brag about. And um, anyways, but you, you. Okay, that was weird. Sorry for the cut there. 
Uh, I think my camera overheated, um, which is pretty dumb, but um, I'm just kind of working out the kinks with this thing. So, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, so like Schmup Arch. Um, it is awesome. And Electric Underground on YouTube has great videos talking about how to set that up and I highly recommend you do it. Um, Cause you will be, you'll be amazed at the progress you make with proper save states and whatever. I mean like, this is such like, kind of beginner stuff I guess. Um, but I was just too, I don't know, um, stubborn. And I didn't have like the the time or patience, ouch, the time or patience to, oops, set that up myself. So the beauty of Shmup Arch is uh, Electric Underground basically kind of gives you like all the settings just kind of already kind of built in to what you would want in a, in a shooting game build of that program. And um, it's awesome. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit the uh, the die button here because uh, uh oh so yeah thanks dude thanks to Electric Underground for setting up that schmup barge man um, another thing he was talking about the other day was. Um, one of his more recent videos was how shmups have gameplay density. It's absolutely true. Because, uh, like, <laughs> the other night on the, um, on the computer, I was playing Ret Shmup Arch, and, um, you know, I played level three over and over again for, like, two hours straight. <laughs> and I, I really had, like, no fatigue or or was not getting bored. I uh, enjoyed every every minute of it. So, um, you know, you credit feed something, uh, a shooting game, you're through it in 20, 30, 40 minutes, and you feel like you might get, might have been ripped off, but really it's, it's in mastering it that is uh, the fun part. But, you know, the game's gotta be for you. So it's gotta be a game that you really enjoy it's got either it's got music that you like or a feel or mechanic that you uh, enjoy playing around with and um, I don't know if our type is any of that for me but um, you know as far as like console games like I, I like the console games in fact I really like our type final and I was unaware that they're talking about an R type final 2 and um, I know that's maybe kind of a slow game for some people. Oops, I didn't see that. Um, but I remember back when I first bought that, um, I had a great time. And actually, I traded off with my buddy uh, on deaths, and we, we played that for weeks. So I'm looking forward to our type final two, if and when that happens. But yeah, uh, just kind of making this video to try out some, whoops, this, uh, I, I did get a new camera, like, used, <laughs> and uh, open box, clearance, discount type of thing, so let me know if the, uh, if you like the video quality of this, and um, so far I think it's doing a pretty decent job of, of filming the CRT, so that's cool. Alright guys, I will talk to you later, and uh, hope you're all doing well, stay safe, and uh, yeah, talk soon. Bye.